Okay, yeah, probably the most frustrating video today uh, that I have made uh, concerning the Yukon photo. Now the fitting of the Yukon doubler, I soon ran into problems uh, that I found most Yukon owners will run into. And it involves shimming the scope and the problem it can cause with adding the doubler. Uh, a lot of head scratching swearing and basically I felt like throwing a lot in the lake. Um, sports match mounts UK came to the rescue uh, using the ATP 66 adjustable mounts uh, soon rectified the problem so far uh, all that is coming up ok like most photon users I fancied a bit more magnification uh, so I decided to invest in the doubler adapter many on the market these adapters the uh, best way to describe it is just sturdy strong moulded plastic uh, do shop around, average price is around £30. Here's the Yukon Doubler, 1.7. Now by fitting this to my 6.5 photon, I will get around 11.5 fixed magnification, I presume. Now fitting is really simple, uh, slightly heat the doubler adapter, makes the adapter slightly more flexible, just enough to slip on the photon. Now depending how hot you got the doubler adapter, when left to cool, I simply fitted the doubler. Uh, really simple and quick, easy peasy. Uh, what could go wrong? I'm on a roll. <laughs> Watch out rabbits and foxes. I'm going to see the whites of their eyes. Can't wait. Yeah. Oh, the next graphic I'm just gonna try and show you the comparison with the doubler fitted uh, with and without now how much magnification you do get now make your own mind up if it's worth the investment to go the doubler route the 1.7 doubler route now three white cards strategically placed just trying to show the magnification gained and also show how much the doubler narrows the field of view down image wise there was no change no pixelation of the image oh to be honest please take note uh, also with the doubler the magnification it's a fixed magnification it will also narrow down the field of view do bear that in mind so what do you reckon is it worth the outlay for the adapter and the doubler is it worth it Without the doubler and with the doubler. Okay, so we are winning. Nice, clear, unpixelated image. Oh, to your owners. Uh, started the zero session. Now, I soon ran into problems. In an ideal scenario, this is how the zeroing should be. Make it sharp, adjust the photon. Now remember my photon is shimmed in the rear mount, so not only did I run out of windage, I also ran out of elevation. No amount of shimming is going to sort this. And besides, I hate shimming anyway. Uh, I'm old school. If it needs shimming, some it ain't right. So I basically don't like to shim mounts. Now, so taking a look at various forums and websites, the ATP66 Sports Match adjustable mount was mentioned quite a lot. Now it's a mount you can adjust windage and elevation and height, uh, just basically what I needed. A first look at the mounts can seem pretty daunting, um, but just a few minutes fiddling with them, they're pretty simple to operate uh, and understand. Uh, unscrewing the locking screw, simply adjust elevation, windage, even height can be adjusted. Uh, when both mounts have been equally adjusted, just simply retighten the locking screw. Now do bear in mind there is no recoil pin supplied with the ATP66. These mounts today have been used on my rimfire and centerfire. Now okay I've only had two fox shots using the centerfire. Uh, but I didn't have any scope or mount creep as yet on the rifles used. Now the instructions do at first glance seem pretty complicated. Uh, but they are pretty really easy to operate. Just remember to adjust both mounts equally and you should be okay. Do 
check on Sports Match UK, British made, lifetime guarantee as standard. Do check them out. So, after the initial headaches of zeroing the photon, cheers, Yuko. All's well and good so far. Now, coming next will be rabbits and fox control on the paddocks. Now, how will the double F fare? Will it hold zero? You do hear a lot of stories of zero shift with doublers fitted to the photons. We shall see. Uh, basically, it's already filmed and ready to go, actually. I'd just like to tease. Uh, like and subscribe. Follow the links below. And I shall see you next time. That awesome.